Welcome! In today's video, we're gonna take a thing that's used for a specific thing and use that thing to make other things! Okay, so we've got a basic little box house here. It's nothing special. It's not supposed to be. Don't worry about it. Don't know why I've built next to the shroud. Um, I'm just asking for someone to creep up behind me and jump on me without my consent. But uh, the first thing you can use roof blocks for is building roofs. So let me show you how I did that. What's that? Oh, you, you knew that already. I see you're quite the experienced builder. In that case, let's move on. So everything I add to the build from here on out is essentially going to be made using the roof blocks, just so I can sort of show you exactly how much you can do with it, because they are incredibly versatile. And to be honest, um, I mean, these walls here are just made with refined wood. But if you wanted to, you could make an entire build just using roof blocks. I'm not gonna, because it'd be incredibly tedious, but you could do. So I'm using the roof tiles, which uh, I'll just kind of build them up a little bit here so you can see. So you can see they actually match the uh, the refined wood perfectly. So that's what I'm going to be using for the build. So I'm going to begin by making a bit of a doorway coming out. Now I didn't actually craft a door, so we'd, we're going to have to do without a door for a while, but that's fine, I suppose. Now I don't exactly know where I'm going with this, but to begin with I'm just going to sort of build around the door. And you can see already, it um. Again, it matches the wood perfectly, and they're not as big or clunky as the regular blocks. So if you just want the sort of accents or like supports going around the build, then these are going to be perfect. Okay, so we've got something sticking out there. So, again, with the game being like a, a voxel kind of building system, um, you're going to get all these kind of different shapes coming out depending on where you place the blocks. So if we add another one in, somewhere, there? Yeah, it's going to fill that in. But like, you could have the the bits kind of hanging down if you wanted to. I mean, we've got a basic sort of trim around the doorway now. So if we add a few random pieces, you can see they kind of come out. Um, I don't like that, personally, but it, it just shows that you have a lot of freedom with what you can do. And then we could have, you know, a bit sort of overhanging over the top there. That's kind of cool. What if we go up? I'm not going to lie, I've played around with this a decent amount, hence why I'm making a video on it. But, there is so much you can do, I, I don't really know how this is going to end up looking. So you can see, if you delete certain parts, you can make triangular shapes and all kinds of things. Maybe in the middle we have a little bit coming out there. Oh my goodness! I didn't know it was going to do that. Look at that little circular part. That's kind of cool. Right, so I'm going to make a couple of windows, I think. Just coming out. I'm going to attempt to make them symmetrical. Uh, do like four blocks wide and three blocks tall. And then try to repeat that over here. I think that's the right distance between them. Yeah, maybe. Okay, that's pretty good. So I'm not going to fill those with the in-game windows. We're just going to leave them open for now. But if I grab the, the roof tile block here, um, we can do the same kind of thing that we did with the doorway. We don't obviously want them coming out as far as they were for the doorway, but if we just go around them a little bit. Again, it's all about adding extra depth to your builds, you know? See how that looks kind of cool? Got the bits coming down there. The, the voxel system is just really fun to play around with, man. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Uh, get rid of that piece. Yep. Okay, so we've got a couple of little windows. Then we'll make a small ledge down here. In fact, I may... I may use the refined wood blocks here and just see how that looks. Let's try putting these in. So that looks decent. 
the issue is um, you want to be keeping these parts like on the, the, the top of the build, right, overhanging. So I don't know if I like those there. So we're going to fill these in with the refined wood. Lovely, lovely stuff. And then potentially, do we want them coming out more? Let's try that. I'm kind of into it. Let's go one higher, see how that looks. See, again, that just connects it all together really nicely. Yeah, do the same over here. So much you can do with it, man. It's so easy to overlook the uh, the roof blocks and purely use them for roofs, but there's so many uses for them. And again, with them being like smaller than the regular blocks, um, for adding little columns and pillars and things like that, it's perfect. So on this side, if we make a little porch sort of section, um, so I'm going to take the flat roof and just attach it onto the the side of the build here. How's that looking? That's not bad. It is a bit too flat for my liking. I think I'm going to go one higher. We add another bit onto the top there. That's quite cool. Um, so again, here, you know, if, if you just took the regular... Um, let's get the the column here. You know, you, you could do that. You could just put the refined wood, for example, in... Um, First of all, the, the, the refined wood columns just don't look great. Um, it doesn't look particularly refined to me. Whereas if we try the roof blocks on this side. Let's find a... We'll go in slightly again, just to add a bit more depth to the build. Oh, you can see already, man. It adds these like, supports to the top of it. It looks great. It looks so good. And that, in my opinion, immediately looks better than using the regular blocks. Um, however, I did just run out. Well, I have one more roof tile. What, what should we do with our final remaining roof tile? Let's pop you there. Oh, it's good though, isn't it? Okay, I've made a bit more and now we can get back to work. Let me just get rid of this because I don't like it. And we're going to replace that again with the little tiles. I think that's the correct position. There is some guesswork involved because you can't always get like underneath the way you're trying to build the pillars, so you have to go from the bottom and try to match them up. But uh, I think that's good. So then, again, as we began to do there, we can make some supports coming down. You know? It's very basic stuff, but it's, it's things that I just feel like a lot of people may overlook. There's a lot of shadow coming down. Hopefully you can see that well enough. Um, we could do all sorts. I'd, we could go round the top here if we want to. Oh yeah, I'm kind of into that actually. There you go, you have these big old support beams coming down. And um, we could join these up if we want to. Um, or even maybe make like a little pattern out of it. That's not symmetrical, let's try again. What if we do that and skip one? Do one, skip one. There you are. Um, again, just sort of cuts into it slightly. Makes the build look a little more unique. And then we could even go around the... Uh, the corners of the build and do the same thing. Make some supports coming up. So 
So in addition to the porch that we made, we could also make a bit of a uh, fence coming out. Like a guardrail sort of thing. Okay, we're going to start from here. Can we go up by four? Or three? Do we think three? Three might be okay, actually. That's, that's, that's fine. Three's fine. Now I'm going to leave a couple of gaps. Come out to about there. Okay. And we're just going to repeat the process. See, that's going to line up perfectly with that column now, which is good. That's what we want. That is indeed what we want to happen. Okay, there we go. So we've got the columns laid down. Honestly, could leave it at that, to be honest. But I'm going to attempt to join them up a little bit. So I'm going to go from the middle column... Um, and then just come out, and it makes a sort of, like, triangular shape. I'm just going to go all the way around and do that. So it's very important to make sure that you're placing the blocks in the right place. Otherwise, as we mentioned earlier, you can end up getting some really uh, interesting-looking shapes. And now we've made ourselves a little fence. You could even lower these parts and put, like, a standing torch or something on them. Um, I don't think I'm going to muck about with that right now. And then I did craft myself a little bench to pop down. Oh my god, it's, a, it's on a slant, isn't it? Uh, let's try to uh, pop you against the wall there. Uh, do, you, do you about there? There we go, you can barely see him, look. But he's there, we know he's there. So just looking at the build now. Um, by the way, this was not intended to be a build video as such. I just wanted to show you a couple of things that you could do with the, the roof blocks. It's ended up being basically a full-on build video, but that's fine. Um, now, I know it does look a little bit uh, flat, because we essentially have only used one block for this whole house. But, again, it just shows you how much you can actually do with these things. And there is a bunch, and I'm sure, there's, I'm sure people have figured out way more things you can do with them than I have. But um, just in case you weren't aware of the kind of things that you could do, hopefully this has helped you out a little bit and you can start to get a bit more creative with your builds. Um, so if it's helped you out, please drop us a like, subscribe for more videos like this, and we'll see you in the next one.